Hey guys, it's Carmen again. I just thought I would slide back in here and tell you guys about another one of our new stoneware crystal glazes. We've got Desert Dusk here. Um, Desert Dusk is actually really similar in performance to the glaze we went over previously, Muddy Waters, in the sense that it does have a matte, neutral colored uh, base glaze with crystals that create a glossy color variation um, on the finish. So. The difference here is that our Desert Dusk Glaze is more of a golden colored matte base glaze and when the crystals melt it creates a purple and blue gloss variation. Um, if you are a fan of the gloss variation that's created with this glaze, I would recommend applying the glaze nice and heavy, making sure you're allowing the coats to dry in between each coat making sure there's lots of crystals in your coats when you're applying them. That's how you're gonna achieve that um, gloss variation that happens with this glaze. If you're a fan of that beautiful base glaze that's used with it and you really, really like that gold to come through, maybe make sure there's not as many crystals in the coats or pull your coats out a little bit thinner. You could also pair it with the base glaze which for Desert Dusk happens to be uh, Amber Quartz, which you can check in the suggestion and tips section of our labels, and that'll tell you the base glazes for all of our crystal glazes. Um, just like all the rest of our crystal glazes, Desert Dusk is both food safe and dinnerware safe when used according to manufacturer's directions. So that is nothing to worry about there, which is great. We've got them all these beautiful uh, latte cups. Um, and then as far as performance goes, um, basically you're not super worried about it running off of your piece. It is a very, very stable product. Again, if you have a really heavy loading of crystals near the bottom of your piece, you might want to scrape a couple of those off. That would really be the only thing that I would worry about when it comes to pieces moving or having your glaze flow a little bit too much. Um, otherwise it wouldn't really be much of a concern. So. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and um, next time I'll be back and talk to you guys about our last crystal glaze for this release, which is Night Moth. Thanks.